Hi learners, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today let us do the part 11. So we have already done the other exercises. Now we'll start with the chapter endings. So let us do the first question here. A manufacturer marked his product at 20% about the cost price and allowed a discount of 5% for those customers who pay in cash. And we have to find the profit percentage. So we don't know the cost price. So let us write the cost price of the product be X. And the mark price is 20% of X plus X. This is the 20% of cost, cost price plus X. Again the plus the cost price. It is given above the cost price and then allowed a discount of 5%. So here 20% is going to be 20 by 100 into x plus x. So this and this gets cut. Two ones are two fives are. So 20 plus 20 is 100. 100 plus 100 is 1,500. 1,500 plus 1,500 is 1,500. And again, the selling price is 1 minus discount percentage into that is the mark price. So what is the discount given here? So that is given as 5%. So 1 minus 5% into 12.1.2x. So this 5% can be written as 5 divided by 100 into 1.2x. So that will be when we take the LCM of this one. So that will be 100 minus 5 divided by 100. So 95 by 100 into 1.2x. So this will be selling price is 0 0.95 into 1.2x. So when you multiply this one, you will get 1.4, 1.14x. So now this again we have the profit is selling price minus cost price. So we got here the selling price is 1.14x and the cost price we have assumed that that is x so that will be when you subtract 1.14 minus 1 that is going to be 0 0.14 x so now we want a profit percentage why did we do this profit because in the profit percentage we have profit divided by cp into 100 so now here 0 0.14 x and the cost price is x into 100 so this x and x gets cancelled so 0 0.14 into 100 that is going to be 14 percentage and that is what they have asked for the profit percentage a cycle is sold for rupees 880 at a loss of 20 percent for how much should it be sold to gain 10 percent so let the cost price be x and the selling price is because there is a loss we write a 1 minus 20 percent of the x means that is the cost price so 20 percent means 20 by 100 into x so this is going to be this and this gets cancelled so 2 by 10 is going to be 0 0.21 minus 0 0.2 into x so 1 minus 0 0.2 that is going to be 0 0.8 x so the selling price is 0 0.8 x and now it is given here sold for 880 so the selling price is 0 0.8 x that is 880 so x will be 880 divided by 0 0.8 I'll show you how to do this one without a KLC. Now 880 write as it is. 0 0.8 can be written as 8 divided by 10. So 8 divided by 10. So this is the numerator. This is the denominator. 880 into. This is going to get flip over. So that is going to be 10 by 8. So this is going to be 110 into 10. That is going to be 11, 1100. So we got the x what we have considered the cost price is 1100 now what did they see here for how much should it be sold to gain 10 percent so the new selling price will be one plus the gain is 10 percent into the cost price so one plus 10 percent into cost price so one plus 10 by 100 into we got the cost price is 1100 so 10 divided by 100 so this is going to be 1 by 10 because this gets cancelled so that is going to be 1 by 10 means 0 0.1 this the same so 1 plus 0 0.1 means it is going to be 1.1 1.0.1 .1. 1 .1. that is going to be 1.1 1 .1 into 1100 so when you multiply this one you will get 1 to 1 0 
So they have asked for the selling price. So the wicked cycle should be sold for rupees 1210 to gain 10%. A bag, a bag marked at rupees 60 is sold for 40 rupees. So find the rate of discount. So mark price of the bag is that is given as 60 rupees and the selling price is 48 rupees. So discount is what? Mark price minus the selling price. So 60 minus 48 that is going to be rupees 12. So discount percentage means discount divided by mark price into 100. So what did we get the discount here? That is 12. What is the mark price given as 60 into 100? So 12 ones are 12, 5 are 60, 5 ones are 520 are. So what did they ask for the rate of discount? So this will be 20%. Now a shopkeeper gives a discount of 12% on the pair of shoes marked at rupees 1425. Find the selling price. So the mark price is given as 1425, discount is given as 12%, this is 12% and you have to find the selling price. So discount is what? 12% of the mark price. So 12 by 100 into mark price is given as 1425. So 12 by 100 means you can write here 0 0.12. into 1425 so when you multiply this one you get rupees 171 so now here again the selling price because we want the selling price so selling price is mark price minus discount so what is the mark price mark price is 1425 minus discount is 171 so that is going to be 1254 so therefore we can write selling price of the shoes is 1254. By selling a car for rupees 67,680, Arun loses 6%. For how much should he sell the car to earn a profit of 6%? So now the cost price of the car we have is not given, that is X. And selling price is because the, by selling a car, he is losing 6% means selling price is 1 minus loss percentage into the cost price so loss is how much that is six percent so one minus six percent into x so six percent means you can write here six by hundred into x so here will be selling price is six divided by hundred is going to be zero point zero six into x so one minus zero point zero six is going to be zero point ninety four x and now it's given here for how much will he sell the car to earn a profit of six percent so now selling price is given here 67,680. So now for you this one selling price here 67,680 is equal to 0 0.94x because this, this is selling price and this is given as 67,680 is 0 0.94x. So now this is multiplication so this will go here this on the other side so it is going to go into denominator that is x so now what will you do here six seven six eight zero is in the numerator and for this one for point ninety four you can write a ninety four divided by hundred so what is that six seven six eight zero is in the numerator and this is in the denominator so this is that going to get flip over so that will going to be this one by ninety four so when you divide this you get that will be 720 you can divide and see so that is going to be 720 so that will be 720 into 100 that will be 72000 that is x and now we they said how much should he sell to earn a profit of six percent so news sp is going to be profit is this so that will be one plus six percent into the cp now so this will be six percent is going to be six by hundred and the cost price we got this as this is x we are considered the cost price that is seventy two thousand so this is going to be zero point zero six so one plus zero point zero six into this is the same one plus zero point zero six that will be one point zero six into this one so when you multiply this you will get seventy six thousand three hundred and twenty 
So we can say Arun should sell the car for 76,320 to earn a profit of 6%. A shopkeeper allows a discount of 10% on the mark price. How much about cost price must he mark his goods to gain 8%? So let cost price be X and the mark price be Y. Now the cost price is what? Cost price plus 8% of this cost price because it is given here. To gain 8%, so that will be cost price cost price but 8% of the cost price so x plus 8% means 8 by 100 by x so x plus this will be 0.08x so this is 1 so 1 plus 0 0.08 means 1.08x so this is the selling price again we have the selling price is mark price minus 10% of mark mark price because it allows a discount of 10% on the mark price so now what will be the mark price we have considered as y y minus 10 percent means 10 by 100 of mark price means again we have come this I can write here y so this is going to be y this 10 divided by 100 that will be 0 0.10 and this is y so here is 1 so 1 minus 0 0.10 so that is going to be 0 0.90 y so now what we have this is the selling price so now 0 0.90 y that is 1.0x 08x so y is going to be 1.08 divided by 0 0.90 this x because this is multiplication this will go here so now how are you going to solve this part so now i'll show you because both are the decimal see here both have the two number of decimal this after two there is a decimal so either you can write directly 108 by 90 so 90 when you divide it 108 by 90 so 90 ones are 90 and this will be so we'll put here 10 so that will be 92 is a 180 so 1.2 otherwise i'll show you the other way but if you're getting confused with this decimal 1.08 can be written as 108 divided by 100 and 0 0.90 can be written as 90 divided by 100 so what will you get here? One. This is the numerator. This is the denominator. You will get a 108 divided by 100 into this is going to get flip over. That will be 100 by 90. This and this gets cancelled. So 108 by 90, you will get 1.2x. You can do it anyway. So we can write here. Therefore, mark price must be. Now see here 1.2x. So that will be from 1. And this 0.2 means it is going to be 20% above the cost price. So by this one we have completed today's work. Do like and subscribe to my channel so you get the notification of the other parts. Thank you.